25 lap citizens. The mighty Spirit Auto Center big block modifieds ready to rumble. And we've got Danny Buck grabbing the early lead, working into the turn. Williams is second, Watt is third. Here comes lap number one. Ryan Watt on the outside, took third away now to the bumper of Neil Williams. Danny Buck in charge in the top spot early on. Watt up near the banking. He'll try and get a runoff. Big push from Neil Williams. Williams has got problems. He's slowing the back straightaway. Williams is off the racetrack. Here comes your leader, Danny Buck, down the straightaway. Second spot now is Stangle, then go down, then Howard. It's not the big track anymore. Buck's going to close in on lap traffic a whole lot faster, catching the tail end of the field. Stangle trying to hold off. Go down. Howard trying to hold off. Watt. Charging into the turn. Whoa, now one up over the bank. That's Ryan Watt. Turn one. No, no. Getting by go down. Here comes Strunk. Stangle outside of Buck for the lead. Side by side for the lead. A pair of sixes going at it. Buck on the bottom. Stangle on the top. Here comes go down around the outside, and Matt Stangle's your new leader. Yes, he is. That outside lane coming in. Matt Stangle now the new leader. Heading out of the corner, but here comes Danny Buck. He'll repass the kid. Down the back straightaway. Danny Buck fights back, throws a slider on. Matt Stangle. Here comes Ryan go down. Go down going to the bottom of Stangle. All kinds of action up front. Howard is drunk right behind. Down the back straight away. Strunk again on the inside. Moving by go down. He'll take third. Strunk and go down side by side. Still go down trying to fight back on the top side. Right behind them. Pouch Jr. and Dwayne Howard going at it. Strunk and Howard will hold on to their respective positions in the one. Heading out of the corner now. Stangle maintaining second. Strunk putting the pressure on him. Go down Howard. Then Pouch Jr. Walbach and Watson. Continuing to inch your way to the front. Side by side they are. They're both passing cars and working on getting by each other. Go down, putting pressure on Strunk. Stangle gets high in a one and two, but he'll get the bite off the corner. Down the back center now. Stangle continuing to run the outside lane. Strunk putting on the pressure. The Bechtelsville bullet to the inside. Matt Stangle holding firm. Stangle, the young rookie, making the outside work, holding off Stangle for now. Meanwhile, Jordan Watson continuing to try and climb through the field. He's around Walbach and now working on Billy Pouch Jr. How about Jordan Watson? Down the back straightaway, got around Walbach, now battling Billy Jr. We've got a three-car duel for second. Here comes Go Down. Halfway this time by Danny Buck, still leading the way. Stroke on the bottom side. Stangle wants a bite on the outside. He won't get it. Stroke is the second. And laps to go. Danny Buck gets sideways in one and two. Your leader goes around in one and two. Charging back to green, Strunk to the bottom, and Stangle on the outside lane. Stangle getting a run over top down the back, but Strunk maintains the lead. Go down and Howard beating and banging down the backstretch. Go down will hold him off. Watson still side by side with Pouch Jr., and they've got a run on Dwayne Howard. Here comes Watson on the outside, still battling with Pouch. He's going to try to get more. Jordan and Watson into the corner. Billy Jr. pulling up lame on the back straightaway. Yellow lights come on. He quickly ducks back to the pits. Pouch was running in sixth position. Back to green down the straightaway. Stangle giving it a serious run into the corner on the outside lane. Stangle got a great jump side by side down the back stretch for the lead. Stangle's got momentum. Strunk's got the experience. Six in the 126 going at it. Here they come off the corner. Stangle inching in front of Strunk. They'll go back to the lead. Here comes Go Down on the top. How about the young man out dueling the veteran on the restart? Here comes the Ringo Swacken. Three cars under a blanket with five to go this time by. Five to go. Strunk on the bottom. Stangle on the outside. Go Down looming right behind. Five to go. Howard four. Watson five. Matt Stangle, the young man can do it behind the wheel, no doubt. Steve Davis blowing up down the front stretch. Stangle's your leader inside of five to go. Stangle pulling away by just a car length.
Drunk still putting on the pressure inside the final five we go. This time by will be the parallel sticks, two to go. Anybody's guess who's it gonna be? Two to go. Here comes Drunk back to the bottom. Strunk on the bottom, go down all over the back bumper of Stangle. Three wide in the turn number one. Three wide for the lead, here comes Go Down. Go Down on the top, Strunk in the bottom, they make contact, Stangle to the lead. Go Down drops behind, white flag this time. Stangle is Strunk, one lap to go. Go Down got booted, two car battle. You couldn't wait for the 3 8 well it's here, and it's a Jim Dandy baby. Stangle and Strunk going at it. Down the back stretch one more time. Here comes Stangle on the top, Strunk to the bottom. Strunk finds eyes into the corner, he goes by Stangle. Out of the corner, it will be who? It'll be Strunk over Stangle and go now. Yeah, it was definitely racing. There's no two ways about that. We come from eighth and, uh, you know, bad drop back a couple spots. We're good on the top and the bottom either way we, either way we ran. So I uh, can't thank Glenn and Benita enough. They're in Florida on vacation, but, uh, you know, thank God we got the win. <laughs> Ready to race on the Design for Vision 3 8 mile speedway at Bridgeport. Here they come. Heading into the turn, Jeremy Harrington's got the early lead down the back straight away. Wayne Weaver running in the number two spot as they head into turn number three. Brian Simmons working on Steve Kemery. Kemery from fifth up to third. Simmons peeking his nose to the bottom side, but nothing doing. Kemery shuts the door. Kemery on the bottom side. He's got to run on Wayne Weaver. Battle for second right behind Jeremy Harrington. Kemery to the bottom side. He'll slip underneath Wayne Weaver and take second. Heading down the back straightaway now, Weaver and Kemery battling for second. Kemery slipping by Weaver. Weaver trying to regain the spot, can't do it. Meanwhile, here comes fourth place, Brian Simmons closing in on Weaver. Harrington leading, Kemery trying to catch up to him. They got lap traffic heading out of turn number four. Here comes the leader. Cross pull to the inside, Yellow is out turn one, we got trouble. the outside lane able to grab the lead from Harrington who gives him a little tap in the turn down the back to go. Joe Brown losing some spots Roberts and now Frank Dory underneath of him. Harrington and Kemery get together in front of the field. Simmons up front with Roberts back to green. Into the turn, Joe Brown restarted in third spot, battling with Corman. And here comes Bucca Fusco on the outside, down the back, Dory on the inside. Dory side by side, right behind them, recalling more side by side. Up front, Ryan Simmons holding on to the lead. Here comes Brad Roberts. And here comes Bucca Fusco around Brown. He's now the fourth, a rookie winner in fourth spot. Halfway home, down the front, Simmons is your leader. All kinds of action through the middle of the field, but all eyes up front on these guys going at it. Simmons, Roberts, and Corman. Nose to tail, about two car lengths separate each. Back to one another. Simmons still holding the top spot. Ryan Simmons was involved in a mishap in his heat race today, but he managed to qualify and did a nice job working out of the corner. He made the redraw to rebound in his heat race. He's now leading the feature. Brad Roberts putting on the pressure. The New Egypt Ninja leading the way, but Roberts with the tribute paint job to his grandfather, putting the pressure on him eight laps to go. Roberts on the inside, side by side for the lead again. Down the back straightaway, Roberts running out of real estate now. Simmons shuts the door, here comes Corman. Great racing on the debut event on the Design for Vision Sunglass Central Speedway. We got yellow in turn one, look out, trouble down in turn one. After the pit stop, look out, we got a spinner. Into the corner now, Bucca Fusca trying to go to the outside of Brown, looking to get more out of the top five down the back stretch. Simmons trying to open up that lead. He was holding off Brad Roberts for a while. Now starting to try and pull away. The 20, the 123, and the 16, trying to pull away from the rest of the field again. 
Charging into the turn, Roberts closing back in on the leader now as he gets underneath him out of turn four. White flag, one to go. Simmons bobbled out of the corner, Roberts is there. 123 in the 20, beating and banging. Roberts gets a little too low, catches a huge tire and we've, we've got yellow. into the turn, Simmons protecting the bottom of the restart. Buckafuska and Brown battle for third, down the back on the final lap. One lap dash for the checkered, Simmons through three and four. After the early wreck, he took over the top spot and wouldn't give it back. The win gonna go to Ryan Simmons. Yeah, I had to drive the last lap of my life there with Eric behind me. Uh, he does my steering too, so I was hoping he didn't uh, rig it or something. But uh, no, I'm, I'm, it's, it's so cool to be able to do this here. And uh, so it's different standing here, you know? for the lead. Wagner to the bottom side. Steve will pinch him and then try and get the run off. Side by side for the lead. Down the straightaway. Wagner low. Steve is high. Meeting in the apex of the corner. Steve riding in the middle of the top. Maintains the lead. Wagner got a little bit too low there. Pinched the corner. Steve was able to use the drive off. We've got one around in turn number one. Using the outside, he'll go to third around. Ryan Stillwagon, Brown, Hagen, Bottom, and Carberry. Rick Steve, your leader. Side by side for second. Reinhardt got a great run on the restart to the top side. He'll take second away. Apparently, uh, Stillwagon's not completely off the racetrack back there. trying to get back at Reinhardt after Reinhardt took him over on the last restart. Wagner trying to make the bottom work again. Eight laps down, Reinhardt, Wagner side by side for second. Steve running the extra high lane, leaving the bottom open time. Reinhardt trying to go after him, but he's got to deal with Eddie Wagner now. And right now in fourth, here comes Mike Hagenbottom. Steve able to get a big run off the top side and pull the other two down the street. Wagner still working on Reinhardt, trying to get underneath of him for second. Reinhardt shuts the door again. Steve goes to the top side to try and begin lap traffic. Wagner's been on the bottom all night. Can he change grooves? Here comes Reinhardt back in the contention right behind Wagner. Steve stuck in lap traffic. Who's it going to be? Diving it in the corner. Steve still riding the top. Here comes Reinhardt back to the top side. Hagen bottom and Brown closing in. Reinhardt now stuck behind a lap car. Wagner trying to close it on Steve. Hot and heavy action to the top five. Steve's got a little breathing room now. Wagner getting by the lap car. Then Reinhardt, Hagenbottom, and Brown into the traffic now. Brown around the outside of Hagenbottom for four. Reinhardt goes hard on the top side. Brown and Hagenbottom side by side. Reinhardt closing in on the top two. Wagner to the bottom. Two and a half laps to go. Down the back for side by side. Wagner catching Steve. Hill Ancient in front, going into turn three. Wagner, Steve, side by side, new leader out of four. Steve getting too high out of turn number four. Wagner able to slip by, but he's got two left cars side by side in front of him. Don't count out Steve and Reinhardt, and here comes Hagenbottom. Into the corner it is now Eddie Wagner leading. He's got to cut the path. He's leading the way. Steve chasing him. White flag, one to go. Wagner leading the way. Here comes Hagenbottom. He got under Reinhardt. Now on the bottom side of Rick Steve. Wagner makes a big pass by a lap car. Final time down the lap stretch. Here comes the checkered flag. First ever Mid-Atlantic Sprint race off the 